back in the land of Skyrim. Uh, just give me a minute. I'm updating my save file. Which I just loaded. Oh my god. That's okay. We got quick saves. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Thank god there's... There's auto saves, huh? Ugh. I meant to save over that. So as I was saying, um, today, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do. I think I said we were gonna, um, we were gonna go ahead and. And do this, so. But I'm thinking... Let's go to Windhelm. Where is this place? Come think of it. over here okay you know what now we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do that one because I believe we have a bounty we can do there so we can get paid a little bit pull that off Yeah, the bounty's right here, so since that's on the way, we can do that as well. Also, we got a fort over here that we can discover. I know, I know, I'm staying clear. Although I'm not sure how to get past on the other side here. Okay, it's over there. <clears throat> nope! I'm walking, I'm walking. More like running. I don't feel like taking down that fort right now. Hopefully my companion catches up. Actually, this might not even be the damn way. The fuck are you supposed to get over to that side? Okay. Maybe. Huh. Nope. It's just another one of these damn things. So the thing is, the giant's right on there, so, and it says I'm close.
I'd be freezing my ass off wearing something like this. Or at least my arms. Okay. This looks more like the place. Hello. Glad you could join us. He's done. Now the interesting thing about this is that wasn't the giant we had to take down. Nope, I believe that one is. What was that, four errors? Wow. If only it was always that easy. There's a chest. There's always a chest around here somewhere. Okay. Now we head back down the mountain. And over to Volenwood. Rude or something like that. I am going to pick up the Dark Brotherhood quest. But I'm also considering it's a, a crypt. I'm going to probably venture into it. And that'll be the base for this episode. Now my problem is, I am kind of over encumbered, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, Whiterun and we'll sell some stuff, like we always do, and then from there, we'll, we'll go back to Volum Rude or whatever. Give me just a minute. What do you need? So I'm going to buy the arrows from here. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? An archer, eh? I've got just what you need. Mm. 
Mm. Thank you very much for your business. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah, it's always funny. You find the stuff that you need, like the, the um, armor pieces and all that, out in the uh, caves and stuff. And then maybe hours later, oh shit, we have 405 uh, of those. Anyways, hours later, you find it here in the shops. Like, after the fact that you need it. Damage stamina now we'll keep that. Alright, now let's see if maybe we can buy that off him. And then we'll sell that. That, that, that. Those. That, that. Okay. Do come back. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade our ebony I th armor piece. I think we I should think be able to upgrade it. Good yeah. More inside. There we go. Uh, is there anything else we can upgrade? That would allow us to upgrade anyways. Uh, we need an iron ingot, actually. Yeah, we can't. Okay. Well, that sucks. Alright. So now let's fast travel to Volan Rude and... Yep. Yeah. We have a chest here. I just want to check something just real fast. Okay. One minute. Alright. Whoa!
Okay, so yeah, this is a quest that spans several, um, several different crypts, uh, where you gotta explore it and all that. We're not gonna do that quest right this second. We will still explore- shit. We will still explore this, we just... Um, actually... I wanna find that guy... That we are supposed to be meeting first, cause he's at the very front. He's over here. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything the organization has experienced in, well... Centuries. <clears throat> as I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. What? <laughs> that is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your um, superior. Rexus? The items. <laughs> Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold. But so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. <laughs> oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. <laughs> You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. You do that. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. 
Is there something else you need? The man has nothing on him. And here's his... Oh my god. <sighs> this dude's pathetic. <laughs> but he wants the Emperor killed. So we shall do that. As if it was so easy. Alright, so we're going to upgrade the stamina first, and let's see, what can we put a point in? Let's check the speech. Okay. Still need five levelings for that. Sneak, maybe? Let's uh, put that in so we can get the bow attack. Next next level we'll put put it in the bow, I guess. A supple ancient Nord bow. Still not better than a uh, uh, ebony bow. We got one of the three uh, ceremonial weapons. Now I believe we go back to the basic room, the first room. That was not smart. Didn't think that that fall would have done that. <laughs> Actually, I thought it was going to kill me. <laughs> now, 
Now the problem with this quest is once you start it, you're kind of stuck with these uh, ceremonial things. So, where I go next, I think it's this way. I don't know where that body went, Mind but yourself. okay. That's a Death Lord. He had an elven bow, really? I may have been thinking of a different quest. I don't know. It's possible. Because there's this one quest that I remember on last gen that uh, you had to do that, well, it was a side quest, obviously, it wasn't a main quest. You had to put these, uh, uh, pick up these different weapons from different places and... Yeah, no, this ain't it. At least I don't think so. I hear a shout. We have that book. Actually, no, I think I remember this one. This guy's a pain in the ass to beat. Or at least it was when I did it.
a new weapon. Um, you, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, be careful. Victory. That big fuck. You think I'm afraid of you? Kill that thing before it frickin' thank you. Oaken. Didn't I just pick up a weapon? New staff to add to the collection. <laughs> okay, I have n maybe it's back there. Yeah. I have 24,000 gold. Dragon Priest Dagger. Those things are so weak, though. Ah, Okay. So, um... That's that. Um... We're gonna go back to the Dark Brotherhood, if I can find my way out of here, that is. I'm not gonna touch that letter. I did read it back on last gen, but I you get bitched at if you read it. So... Touch that one.
I want to collect the bounty first. Okay, there we go. Morthal. Yeah, I'm going to collect the bounty first, and then we'll go to the Dark Brotherhood, turn in this quest, and then I think we'll end it there. You've business with the Jarl. I'd ask that you speak. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here's your reward. Until next time. 100 gold for taking down a uh, Please don't mind Yorick. He's a giant. I don't. I have it mother's gift. All right. So we're going to head back to the Dark Brotherhood. I think we definitely need to go and go into both Solitude and Rorikstead at some point. We need to definitely explore Rorikstead though, because Rorikstead is, like, if I'm not mistaken, Rorikstead is the last official city that we haven't gone to. We've been on the outskirts of Solitude, but I don't believe we went in yet. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis? You're not joking. <laughs> kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And... For whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this am- Hmm... I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Okay. Uh, let's go and speak to what's his name, Nazir. I think his name is, and see if he has any contracts. Still here. There are indeed three to be cool. exact. There's Dikas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandru Joe, a traveling caravanner, and Honoriath, a hunter. He's an accomplished wizard, and locating him may be challenging as he travels with the caravans. The Wood Elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there, and no one will bear witness. 
He's an Argonian layabout. Likes to scaven shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened. Or swim, if given the chance. Hmm. You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Happy hunting. Uh, that's not advice on my current contracts. But okay. Reading. Alright folks, so we're going to end the stream and video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Twitter, Facebook, links in the description. Check it out, pretty cool stuff. And I will see you guys next time. This is Sean4225, signing off. Peace.